You know, it's no surprise that we're in an age where online retail shopping is taking over. While we still have a long ways to go, it'll never completely take over real life shopping. Whether we use our computers or smartphones, there's one common trait. We all shop online. Regardless of whether we shop for clothes, toys, or whatever, most companies are pushing their businesses into the digital age. Speaking of the digital age, games seem to be the most popular thing people buy, and in this series, I'll be discussing the pros and cons of two of the most popular game sites, Steam and GOG.com. I'll be starting the series with the pros of Steam. The first pro of Steam is that the service is free for download. It's no surprise that millions and millions of people have downloaded Steam's services. The next pro of Steam is the service is constantly updating. Most of the updates are worth it, but Steam has missed the mark a few times, but not enough to be considered a con. The next pro is finding friends and adding is easy. The real catch is making sure the person you're friending can be trusted. Another pro is if you want to add funds, you get a variety of methods of doing so. The easiest and probably safest way of doing so is to purchase a Steam card and add funds. Another pro for Steam is its own DRM. Okay, so maybe not the best, but not the worst. And DRM is too difficult to explain in this video. Another good point is you can add your own games to Steam. One last pro is that Steam is the most recognizable digital distributor of games. It's probably because it's the easiest way to get games. That takes care of part one. Part two will focus on the pros of GOG.com.